Uh, hey guys, this is Outdog99. Um, come back uh, with, you know, um, with a, uh, well, not a review, I guess um, I'm just going to be talking about my smoking history here. Because um, I got a, uh, I want to shout out to a John Bro, uh, Brasio or something. Um, sorry if I didn't pronounce that right, you know. Um, but uh, he says, I see that your reviews are quite recent. That's a little unusual because most online reviews by young guys are several years old. Um, I am <clears throat> older but never uh, even heard of more. Perhaps you're Canadian. Um, as many young reviewers are, it's always fun to hear a guy smoking history. I hope you will consider making a bit about that. So um, what I decided to do was, uh, you know, come outside having a cigarette. Um, <clears throat> I was taking a uh, assessment for uh, Walmart, you know, trying to get a better uh, paying job here going on, you know. Um, 65 questions, it's kind of frustrating, you know, the shit that they ask you. So I decided to come out here and have a cigarette and talk to you guys about, you know, my soap, smoking history, where I started, how I started, um, what I smoked. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, because in my opinion, like he said, uh, like Jive said, you know, yeah, I mean, I like to hear about other people's smoking history and, you know, everything like that and, you know, how they started smoking, what they uh, were first smoking when they started and what they're smoking now and why they, you know, changed. So uh, pretty much what I'm going <clears> to <throat> do now, you know, um, uh, and to the uh, Marlboro guy, um, I had uh, done a video, um, I had not uploaded it yet, you know, there's been a lot of stuff going on. I just got back from the beach not too long ago. Um, and I had, you know, sunburn and everything. My, my face is peeling right now. Um, it's kind of frustrating. But um, anyway, uh, I had already uh, done a Marlboro Red um, review. It's on my desktop here. I'm about to uh, upload it as soon as I'm finished here. Um, but I guess, uh, you know, I was in the uh, middle of uh, uploading a bunch of, like, the Moors, the um, Winstons, the um, Merritts, the, Mar uh, the Marlboros, and all the other ones that I did. And um, I guess it glitched out, and it didn't um, it didn't uh, uh, upload. So I don't know what happened there. But uh, today I'm just gonna talk about you know my smoking history, uh, a little bit about me, and you know uh, how I uh, started smoking and why, and what I was smoking at the time. Um, <clears throat> well, to get started here, I was about. Maybe I was, I don't know, either 15, I think. I think I was uh, 15, 15 or 60 right, right there. Uh, I, live in Pens I live in Pennsylvania, just to let you all know that. Um, and uh, up here in Pennsylvania, you know, up in uh, one of these cities, you know, we have a fair and uh, it's like biggest shit. You know, the, I think I, I mostly would rate it, you know, the biggest fair that uh, Pennsylvania would have. Um, and uh, for some of you guys that you know live in Pennsylvania, I'm talking about the New Holland Fair. I like it. You know, it's pretty good. Um, but uh, yeah, I was there, and um, we uh, I was at the Ferris wheel, you know, hanging out with a bunch of my friends and stuff. Um, and I'm getting a flashback here because um, uh, yeah, okay. Well, you know what? Yeah, I was at. Um, you know, I was at the Ferris wheel, uh, my friend, you know, he lives down the street from me, he had uh, Camel Crushes at the time, you know, everybody was smoking then back then, um, so, you know, I, I, I decided to smoke it, you know, I liked it, I liked the menthol taste to it, you know, and um, from there, maybe um, a year in, you know, I started to uh, smoke the Camel Crushes, um, back when I did smoke uh, menthol, because I don't smoke menthol no more, and I'll tell you uh, why in a minute here, um, but uh, yeah, you know, I I would smoke Camel Crushes all the time. You know, I would uh, I wouldn't just smoke the. Uh, I wish I had a pack laying around here somewhere so I could show you guys actually what I'm talking about. Um, I would I would I would smoke the Camel Crushes, the uh, the lights, the uh, regular ones. Um, you know, I would smoke all of them. Um, 
not just that one one pack with like the camel on it and like the, the silver or whatever I don't, I don't really know um it's been a long time since i've you know smoked one of those um but uh yeah you know uh, I would smoke those, um, and then there was a period in between where I had uh, quit smoking and uh, had done um, uh, dip, chew, I guess that's what you uh, call it, you know, I don't really uh, do that stuff a lot, so, um, but uh, you know, in, the, in, the, in between I would do that, um, I, I would quit smoking for a little bit and do that, and maybe, you know, a week later I would, you know, go back to smoking. Um, but, uh, pretty much this is how it went. I went from Camel Crushes to Copenhagen, uh, I'm sorry, to Skull Cherry to Skull Winter Green and then Extra Winter Green, you know, um, I like the extra stuff. And then, uh, Copenhagen, Copenhagen Winter Green, um, or I'm sorry, uh, Copenhagen Straight was first. I love the taste of that. Um, and then Copenhagen Winter Green. And then Copenhagen Mint, and then from there I went to Pall Mall. Uh, I'm sorry. From there I went to Marlboro Menthols, um, and then I went from Marlboro Menthols to uh, Pall Malls. I smoked Pall Mall uh, greens for Pall Mall Menthols for a little bit, um, maybe two years probably. Um, But, uh, yeah, that it's, you see this shit, ridiculous, but, um, you know, yeah, from there on, I went, um, to Pall Malls, from there on, I went to, uh, Sonoma's, I started smoking those, you know, I was working at, um, Birdhead at the time, the, uh, restaurant and dishwasher and shit, and, uh, I was, um, smoking Sonoma's for a little bit, um, and then from there, I smoked cigars only. I would smoke cigars every single day um, until I reached the point where I was just smoking. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I was just, you know, coughing heavily. I was smoking cigar, like one of those, one of those uh, white owl cigars, one of those uh, big ones that you can, you know, buy in the smoke shops and stuff like that. I would be smoking those one after another, a, a, a chain smoker, like I am with cigarettes. Um, and eventually I stopped because uh, I was messing up my, my lungs and shit. I would have lung infections every day, uh, which doesn't really matter now because I have them anyway um, since of the, because of cigarettes and stuff. Um, but then went from there to them, um, then from the cigars, you know, especially when I would go to the beach, I would, you know, puff on cigars and shit. Um, you know, I smoke a cigar every now and then. Um, <clears throat> but, you know... I haven't had a cigarette, uh, I'm sorry, I haven't had a, a cigar in maybe a couple months. Uh, I'll probably do a review about that, actually, um, a cigar, you know, because um, they're kind of my favorite things to do, because they burn slow, and, you know, they're just fun to, fun to do. Um, but, uh, you know, from there, I... Uh, went to, uh, let's say, I think I went to uh, Newports. That's where <clears throat> uh, I was just smoking Newports up until the age of, uh, age of uh, 19, I believe 19. No, I'm sorry, it, it was like 19 and a half because um, I quit uh, menthols around when I was 20. I just turned 20 this year, so... Um, you know, I believe it was somewhere in between, but, um, yeah, I, I, from Newports, I went to Marlboro Reds, and this has been my, my cigarette that I've been smoking, um, the cigarettes that I've been smoking for, um, <clears throat> quite a while now, uh, I will tell you the reason why I, uh, <clears throat> stopped smoking menthols here, um, I stopped smoking menthols because, uh, I could not, I couldn't taste it, um, all I could taste was, um, tobacco, the taste, the taste of the menthol, you know, from smoking menthol over the years for me, I mean, it's different for, for, for different people, you know what I mean, but, um, you know, 
I just couldn't taste it no more, and I just got out of the taste of menthol, and uh, <coughs> you know, it was starting to affect my my lungs and stuff. Um, <coughs> and uh, I would have you know more tar built up in my throat like I you know do now. Um, but you know, at this point, it really doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, you know, I it was messing up my um, taste buds and stuff. You know, I would um, smoke like um, I would ever I would really literally smoke a Camel Crush and it would taste like a Palma Orange. Um, it would not it, it wouldn't taste like any menthol to me at all. Um, you know, and th that just pretty much ruined the mood for me to smoke menthols altogether. Um, so you know what I decided to do was just stop. You know, um, smoke lights uh, for a little bit. You know, um, and for you guys um, that that uh, might have this problem, you know, you, you smoke like a uh, damn it, you smoke like a uh, menthol cigarette, and it doesn't, and you you don't taste the menthol anymore. You know, you just you it ruins the mood. You know, you do you don't um, have the feeling for it anymore. Um, smoke, you know, a um, a pack of uh, light cigarettes like Marlboro Reds. Uh, Marlboro Reds would probably do it for you. Um, it did it for me actually. Um, but Mar I, I would smoke like a, um, a light cigarette. Um, I don't know if these are, are uh, these are not menthol, but they're, I don't know if they're they're lights because um, it doesn't even say on there. But uh, if you smoke non-menthol cigarettes for at least a month, uh, and you go and smoke a um, menthol cigarette um, you can taste the difference you know you can feel it and it's there you know it's not like oh well, I can't taste it still you know what I mean it's there um, you know my girlfriend smokes Newports and uh, whenever I uh, bum a cigarette off of her you know and usually I smoke lights so pretty much I'm not used to the menthol flavor because I've been smoking them for a while now um, and whenever I try a Newport um, that shit you know it tastes very good. It tastes amazing. It reminds me of the old days, you know, back when I used to smoke them, and um, they tasted so much stronger than when I did take when I did smoke them, um, which is pretty amazing, you know. But uh, yeah. But you know, yeah, that's why I uh, uh, stopped smoking menthols. You, you know, I, I don't really. I, I'm. I might go back to smoking menthols later on. Um, down the road, you know, I don't, uh, I like smoking Marlboro Reds now, I'm used to them, you know what I mean, and once I get used to a cigarette, I don't want to stop smoking it, you know what I mean, because then I'll, I don't know, miss it or whatever, but like I said, with the Newports, you know, I got used to them, but it, the menthol thing, it, it, it messed, it messed everything up, and you know, um, I had, to, I had to stop smoking them, um, you know, but, uh, yeah, you know, if I were to sit here, open up a pack of Camel Crushes, and smoke them, you would, you know, like, in my, in my other, uh, uh, reviews and stuff, you know, I would do, um, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't cough on the Camel Crushes. Um, now, if I had gone out and got a pack of, uh, Camel, Camel Crushes and smoked them, I would be coughing, um, my face would be red, you know, because I'm not used to the menthol and um by now uh my lungs and shit probably had reset and i probably would be able to smoke them again and taste the full flavor of it um get used to it but um you know i want to tell you a story here um about uh you know i don't want to make this video too long it's at uh 1406 right now 14 minutes and six seconds eight seconds nine seconds ten seconds um, but, uh, you know, I want to tell you guys that the first time I tried a cigarette and, um, like I said, you know, it wasn't at the fair, it was at my house. Okay. So, um, what happened was, uh, my dad, uh, I, I was maybe 14, um, like I said earlier, you know, I was maybe like 15, 16 when I started really smoking, you know what I mean, and getting getting really into it. Um, but at this time, I was maybe 14, 15. Um, I was dating some girl from o Ohio or whatever, and that shit didn't work out. 
you know. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, I was young at that age, and my uh, dad would smoke uh, palm oil um, oranges, and like any other kid would probably do, you know, I would, um, you know, here I'll show you here real quick here. This would be his palm oil oranges, for example. You know, he would have his cigarettes in there, okay. And when he was low on um, on cigarettes, it was kind of difficult to do. But what I would do is, I would, uh, you know, mix them mix them around, make it look like, oh, you know, he, make it so that he don't notice that one's missing. I would take them out and I would, you know, smoke them, because um, I wanted to know what, you know, it felt like what it, what, what he what he was doing when he, when, you know, when he what he felt when he was smoking and stuff. Because I was kind of curious at the time, you know, what, what, uh, why he was smoking and what, um, he was smoking for. Um, because, you know, pretty much he smoked my whole entire life and I just wanted to know what it, what it, uh, felt like, you know, what it, um, was like that, to smoke a cigarette. Um, so what I would do, you know, I would go over to his house, uh, my, uh, parents divorced and, um, they divorced at a, uh, when I was, you know, younger and stuff, I didn't really understand what was happening and stuff, but, um, you know, um, I had, uh, I would go over to his house, um, every, uh, every other weekend, you know, pack my bags, go over there, you know, spend the weekend with him, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, then come back to my house, go to school, you know, stuff like that, um, but pretty much, you know, I would go over there and take, um, maybe, three, four cigarettes out, um, and then pretty much wait, or I would take a walk, um, I would either take a walk or wait till I go home to smoke, smoke the cigarettes, um, and, you know, the palm oil oranges, guys, you know, they, 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 they taste like, like nothing, like you're inhaling nothing, like, um, you know, you know, when I smoked this Marlboro, I could, I could taste it, you know. When you smoke a Pablo Orange, you just, I just can't, can't see it. I can't, you know, I can't feel it. Um, you know, I always thought it tastes like rubber, but then once I grew up and started smoking them more, you know, I, I realized, oh, you know, it tastes like something. And then eventually I had felt the urge to, to smoke, you know, um, have another cigarette um you know and uh i eventually got you know addicted to it and started smoking you know what i mean and it had gotten so bad that um I, you know and a lot of you guys are gonna tell me you know that i shouldn't be doing this but um you know i i don't really do it anymore um unless i'm desperate um but uh you know it, it would get so bad that i would actually you know every time my mom would be going to walmart i would go along not to go inside, but to search the ashtrays for butts, cigarettes, you know, to, to smoke them. Um, you know, it had gotten so bad that I would actually, you know, try to um, find uh, cigarettes laying on the ground or in the ashtray to smoke, you know, just to satisfy my nicotine urges, you know, because at the time, um, she wouldn't buy me any. Uh, my mom wouldn't buy me any, and um, she didn't even know I was smoking, um, you know. But, um, once she found out, you know, I, uh, you know, I got it, you know, I got yelled at for it, um, but, uh, you know what, it was, it was my decision to start, you know, uh, a lot of people say, you know, you should stop smoking, yeah, well, you know, you should stop, um, doing this, you know, you should stop doing that, um, you know, it's our, the smokers, it's our decision to, to have a cigarette, you know, it's our decision to do, uh, dip, it's your, your decision to do smoke weed, it's your decision to do whatever, you know, it's your life, you know, do whatever you want with it. Um, it shouldn't be controlled by anybody else, so, you know, that's why, I, when I always make my videos, you know, I, I, um, I try not to tell you guys, you know, you don't have to watch this whole video if you don't want to, you know, you can skip through it, I don't really care, you know, I mean, I'm just here to make uh, videos for you guys, so hopefully, you know, you'll watch it, but... I mean, I'll understand if you don't want to watch it because it's 20 minutes long. I mean, I don't want to waste 20 minutes of your life, you know what I mean, talking about um, me and stuff. Get the fuck out of here. Um, but, yeah, you know, um, I, 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 I started smoking the palm oils, you know, and then, and then I discovered menthols at the fair. Um, 
once I discovered them, I would, I'd smoke Camel Crushes and stuff, and then, um, you know, I would smoke Palm Oil Menthols, um, and uh, around the age, like, 17 or whatever, my dad would uh, start buying me um, cigarettes, you know, I mean, I was almost 18 anyway, so, you know, it's like, oh, well, you know, it doesn't really matter, I mean, I'm like a month away from being 18, so he would buy me um, cigarettes, you know, my mom would buy me cigarettes, um, you know, and yeah, you know, once I turned 18, you know, I got my ID and I was happy as shit because I could finally go into the gas station, buy a pack of cigarettes without, oh, where's your ID? Right here, you know what I mean? Um, so, you know, that was pretty pretty cool for me to, to do, um, to experience that stuff, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, that's that was the first time that I had a cigarette and... And uh, a lot of a lot of people tell me I'm a chain smoker. And I know I am, and I think that fuck. I think that um, that's because of the uh, uh, just how many you know cigarettes I smoke. The the the, the amount of the nic nicotine I need a day is maybe a pack of cigarettes, maybe two packs of cigarettes. I don't even know. Um, a carton of cigarettes maybe lasts me like two three days. Um, it's just the, 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 um, how bad the addiction had, had gotten up until now, you know, which is very bad, um, because a carton could, would last somebody maybe a week, two weeks, um, you know, probably, my dad, uh, a carton of cigarettes would last him maybe a week, two weeks, um, for me, three days, you know, that's why I don't buy cartons, because, you know, I'm just gonna, the more I have, I'm just gonna smoke them all, um, you know, but, uh, yeah, you know, the addiction had gotten so bad that I just have, have been smoking one after the another, and I, I you know, with, and with all the stress that I had, you know, grown up, with all the, the shit that I had, had uh, gone through and saw, um, you know, I think that had uh, something to do with it as well. Um, you know, all the shit that I had been through, you know, I'd, uh, but, you know, my... Uh, child life growing up wasn't wasn't normal you know it was uh i had to deal with uh, a lot of stuff you know um eventually i'll make a video about talking about that you know uh when i feel the time is right um but you know for now i'm just gonna keep it you know keep it simple plain and simple because i don't like really bringing that stuff up right now um maybe for you guys because you know you guys subscribe to me and you know i got uh 89 subscribers you know what i mean um 89, 80, 80, 80, I think, 89, something like that, but, um, yeah, you know, um, I'm just on here making videos, you know what I mean, um, I see people with 3 million subscribers, that would be amazing, but, you know, um, it, it takes, it, it takes time, you know, and I'm willing to do that for you guys, and I'm willing to, uh, uh, uh do anything to get you guys, uh, on, on following me, you know, um, and, you know, if you need followed, I'll subscribe to you as well, you know, just, just let me know, uh, comment on my video, or, you know, like my video, uh, send me a private message, uh, whatever you want me to talk about, you know what I mean, I talk about uh, life-changing things, um, you know, remember, it's, it's just, it's, my videos are, aren't just about tobacco reviews, you know, they're about, like, um, uh, life-changing um, things, they're about um, tutorials, uh, you know, very, very deep emotional personal things that, you know, um, uh, I can talk about, you know what I mean, um, relationships, stuff like that, you know, I've seen it all, um, you know, so, anyway, uh, you know, shout out to the John, god damn it, man, I forgot his last name, shit, well, I'm sorry, I don't want to be, I, I didn't, I don't mean to be a dick, but I forgot your last name, um, so, but shout out to John uh, for commenting on my video. You know, this video is for him. Um, you know, a little bit about myself. You know what I mean? Um, I'm, I'll probably make another video um, telling you guys a little bit more. You know, I don't want to make it too long. It's at like 25 minutes right now, so I don't want, I don't want to make it too long because then when I go to upload it, you know, it's, it's gonna like take hours and hours. So um, anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Um, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and you know, like I said, if you got some that's on your mind or you want to talk to me about something um, I'll listen to you you know I'm a great listener you know what I mean um, uh, I like to you know teach people how to do stuff you know uh, a teacher um, you know very 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 loyal to 
to you know people uh, very you know sensitive I'm a very sensitive person um, but you know you know like comment subscribe um, thank you guys for watching this is Al Dog 99 um, thank you guys you know have a nice day have a nice night um, wherever you live you know I live in Pennsylvania here let me show you real quick before I sign off here Pennsylvania you know this is what it looks like uh, trees everywhere um, got the pool right there so if y'all want to you know go swimming if you're hot let, let me know so I'll